today's video, I want to show you a process that will help you to organize your site pages library and identify what are pages or spaces and what are news or news links. So the process is described in an article on my blog with the same name of this video, how to effectively manage SharePoint news and explains you the problem where all the pages on your SharePoint site are displayed inside of the same library without a visual identification of what is a page, what is a space, what is a news, or what is a news link. And this article aims to create individual views that will help you to easily access to news and news links. The solution involves PNP PowerShell and is described step by step in with every single commandlet that you need to execute to create the custom views. This solution creates three different views, one that displays all news available in the site collection, another one that displays just news that were created using SharePoint news pages, and a third view that displays the reposts that you have in your SharePoint site collections. These are pages that point users to external news or to news from other site collections in your system. Get the custom views on your system. You can either execute each one of these four commandlets in sequence, or you can use the PowerShell script that is provided in the blog post. So to exemplify this, instead of running each commandlet individually, I will instead execute the PowerShell and this starts by asking you what is the site collection where you want to get the views added to the site pages library. So I will type the site collection where I want to create mine. And the next step is providing the credentials to the site collection. If everything goes well with the credentials, then it will create the three views in sequence. Once they are created, you will get a resume with the title of all the views that were created and the ID for the view in the site collection. Now to see how it looks like and how they work, I will show you this page where I have all types of SharePoint pages inside of the same library. I just need to refresh it so I can get the latest views that were added to the site. From the view selection, as you can see now, I have a view called All Pages, SharePoint News and News Link. From the All Pages, what you will see is a view that displays not just the name of the page, but also the title, because sometimes the title that you give to the news doesn't match the original name of the page, and this way you can easily identify what news are you trying to locate. You will also get the person that modified the news and the modified date. This will get in the same view SharePoint news and news links, but if you just want to access to SharePoint news, you have a dedicated view to do that. And the content displayed on this view is the same, the same columns, but just showing the pages that exist in the site collection. On the other hand, if you want to modify a news link and if you want to locate the news link in the site pages, you also have a dedicated view to do that. And if you click in the news link view, it will show you view with an extra column when compared with the two other views. And this displays the original source to where the user will be redirected once he clicks in the name or once he clicks in the news in the SharePoint homepage or SharePoint news web part. This view is also handy if you want to modify a news link. What you have to do is then to click on the news and from here, you can click on the edit button and modify the link to where the user will be redirected and adjust the title, the description, and the preview image that will be displayed in the SharePoint homepage and in the SharePoint news that users will use to interact with this specific news link. Well, this was a really simple solution that aims to make your life easier when you need to manage news inside of SharePoint. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more content related with SharePoint. Bye-bye.